Hi, Donnie. Thank Hello. you so much for bringing in your trunk today. What can you tell me about this piece? This piece, uh, I researched it, and you can't find a lot of history on it, but I know it was owned by Buffalo Bill due to uh, documents, notarized documents. Mm -hmm. um, it was given to Johnny Baker, which was on his uh, Wild West show, which him and Johnny actually became like father and son. And then I acquired it roughly four or five years ago. Okay, wonderful. Um, this is a really interesting and unique piece. Um, like you said, when we were re researching it, um, it was challenging to find comparables. Um, you know, there, there wasn't an exact match. And sometimes as appraisers, what we have to do is look at the next best thing. Um, so let's take a look at the trunk first. Um, so it has the uh, Colonel WMF Cody stenciling to the top. It has some interesting um, and original labels to the interior. Like you said, you have provenance that um, comes along with the piece, which is wonderful, and here's an image of it as well. Now, in terms of condition, there are a couple condition issues. I noticed that the original leather handle on this side is gone. That one it is intact, so that's wonderful. Um, you know, it, it has the wear that you would expect something of this age and, you know, with the use that it's been through to have. Um, so the most similar example that I found was an Annie Oakley chest with similar lettering, lettering stenciled to the top um, of similar age and condition. That piece was offered within the last 10 years at auction for two to 4,000, but it sold far beyond that estimate. It sold um, almost five times, more than five times the, the high of that estimate. Um, so one tactic when, if you were to bring this to auction, um, what, what auctioneers do is estimate conservatively because that is drives bidding interest. So if, if two bidders, you know, are seeing that conservative estimate and really think that, you know, that's the piece I want, I'm gonna go for it. Once you start bidding, you usually don't stop. So <laughs> that's, that's what drives up the price. So based on that parallel comparable, even though it's not an exact match, mm -hmm. um, I would say a conservative estimate at auction would be three to 5,000 on this piece with the potential to sell beyond that as we saw with the Annie Oakley example. Okay. okay.